Good day everyone and welcome back to SCP Illustrated. We are continuing the SCP Summarize series today looking at SCPs 400 to 499. As usual you can expect implied violence, dismemberment and torture and without further ado let's begin. The following data release has been authorised by the following council members and administration staff. SCP-400 Beautiful Babies SCP-400 are a parasitic subspecies of wood lice that feed and mature on human breast milk. A swarm of around 400 specimens will burrow into a sleeping baby and induce cardiac arrest. Sometime after, the baby will resume basic movement and vocalizations. The mother, prompted by a pheromone released by SCP-400, will then begin breastfeeding the reanimated infant. SCP-401 A Palm Tree SCP-401 is a tree that bears the same physiology as humans. The trunk is coated in bone, the branches are human arms, and the roots are esophagy coated in cartilage. Periodically, the hands will bear human sex organs. Crossbreeding trials between humans and the tree have taken place with bizarre results. SCP-402 Obsidian Absorber SCP-402 is a very dense block of obsidian. When water is applied to it, the water becomes completely imperceptible. SCP-403 Escalating Lighter SCP-403 is an unremarkable lighter. When ignited repeatedly over the course of 24 hours, the flame will begin to get bigger and more intense. On one occasion, the lighter produced an explosion of superheated gas and plasma. SCP-404 Memories Lost, Memories Found SCP-404 are two envelopes containing an incalculable number of blank photos. Attempts to count them always result in failure. Should a subject view a blank photo for more than five seconds, it will begin to develop to show a memory from their past. When the subject then leaves, after approximately one hour, they will have no memory of the event depicted in the photo nor that the exchange with SCP-404 ever occurred. SCP-405 Telepathy Virus SCP-405 is a contagious phenomenon that causes subjects to hear people's thoughts as clearly as if the person was speaking to them. This process cannot be controlled and most subjects will become sleep deprived and attempt to commit suicide or destroy their internal ear structure. As the virus progresses, subjects will begin to hear unconscious thoughts, such as reflex actions and anatomic responses. Subjects will enter a coma within 28 days and eventually die from brain deformity and overstimulation. SCP-406 Sleepwalker's Tunnel SCP-406 is an old railway tunnel. One end is completely caved in and the other is sealed with a metal fence. Periodically, people will emerge from the walls of the tunnel, apparently sleepwalking. These people all match those who have recently died or gone missing. They are not dangerous, possess no anomalous properties, and following various amnestics and cover stories are escorted back to their point of origin. SCP-407 The Song of Genesis SCP-407 is a cassette tape containing a song. If the song is played, Rapid cell generation will occur in any organisms within auditory range. This can heal most injuries including Alzheimer's, spinal injuries, malnutrition and fatal wounds. As the amount of time exposed increases, bacterial and fungal organisms will also begin to grow, which pose a severe threat to all exposed life. SCP-408 Illusory Butterflies SCP-408 is a large mass of butterflies and moths that group together to form a collective organism. They will change their shape, colour and texture to match the environment, making them functionally invisible. They also share a hive mind and possess the ability to reason and communicate by forming words and sentences. When threatened, they will take the form of aggressive animals. Documented cases include a pride of lions, a T-Rex, and SCP-682. SCP-409 Contagious Crystal 
SCP-409 is a quartz crystal. Any material other than granite that comes into contact with SCP-409 will slowly begin to crystallize. Human subjects have reported extreme pain and upon complete crystallization will explode into hundreds of individual shards. These shards share the same anomalous properties as SCP-409. SCP-410 Editor Beetles SCP-410 are an anomalous subspecies of beetle. They produce a substance from an additional unique organ that can be caustic or inert. They will consume any grammatically incorrect word or error on almost any medium except an electronic device. Between 5 and 20 minutes later, SCP-410 will excrete the correct grammatical construct and replace the incorrect one. SCP-411 Ancient Precog SCP-411 is an elderly man who ages in reverse. Your future is his past, and your past is his future. He can recount events from the near future, and speaks in an unknown language from the future. SCP-412 Mutagenic Mirror SCP-412 is an antique hand mirror that, once held, compels the holder to look at their reflection. This compulsion becomes more serious as time progresses. Every time a subject looks at their reflection, they experience bodily alterations. This starts with small things such as bodily rashes, but progresses to reorientation of internal organs. SCP-413 Endless Garage SCP-413 is a sapient, multi-story car park that is bigger on the inside. It often changes its internal structure by adding additional floors, moving ramps, and extending the stairwell. From the outside, however, the building never appears to change. As a result, navigating the interior is impossible. SCP-414 Regardless, I might prefer myself sick. The SCP-414 effect begins with a figure in a circular mask appearing before an unemployed asocial human. After a successful interaction, the figure will vanish and the subject will undergo a number of stages. This begins with feelings of loneliness before advancing to a stage where the subject feels physically empty and cannot recall any meaningful relationships with anyone in their lifetime. SCP-415 The Harvested Man SCP-415 is a male human with various zippers all over his body, allowing easy access to his internal organs. When an organ is removed, it will regrow soon afterwards. SCP-415 was recovered when he claimed to be being hunted by an organization that were using him to make and sell organs on the black market. SCP-416 Infinite Forest SCP-416 is a forest that when entered, is impossible to leave on foot. Regardless of the weather conditions, anyone who enters the forest will report heavy fog. Prolonged stays within SCP-416 will cause a number of mental instabilities, including hallucinations, catatonia, and psychosis. SCP-417 The Plague Tree SCP-417 is a species of tree resembling the African baobab tree. They bore fruit that when opened, release a number of insects that will attack any nearby life forms by stings and bites. These injuries run a 45% chance of killing the subject. The subject's body will begin to rot at an accelerated rate. Once the body has rotted away, a new instance of SCP-417 will begin to grow where the body was. SCP-418 Human Jigsaw SCP-418 is a male human who possesses the property of autonomous anatomic separation. If he sustains an injury that breaks the skin barrier, the wound will grow in length until it severs a part of the body. Severed parts, however, maintain their basic functions. For example, food and drink can still be swallowed if SCP-418's head is removed and blood will still flow through veins and arteries as if the body part had not been severed at all. SCP-419 Window to the World SCP-419 is a pane of glass that when viewed by a human will show a non-Euclidean warped city with architecture resembling that of the Victorian era. The view of the city changes so an accurate map of the city cannot be made. A number of red humanoid figures can be seen traversing the city from time to time. 
SCP-420, aggressive skin condition. SCP-420 is a whiskey bottle. When a subject drinks from the bottle, which will replenish over time, they will begin to experience a number of non-fatal bodily mutations. This begins with unsuspecting symptoms such as a dry throat, but progresses to the point the subject's skin becomes a different organism. The skin will use the host's body as a puppet and seek out sources of food where it is then folded into the skin layer to be absorbed into the blood. The host does not die at any point, though the majority will have gone insane as a result. SCP-421 Shoal of Driftwood SCP-421 is an organism comprised of driftwood and other oceanic debris. Its form is always in flux and seems to have no other purpose than to find more wood to accumulate into its mass. It gathers the necessary materials by harvesting driftwood or pulling apart wooden ships. SCP-422 Patchwork Beast SCP-422 is a large quadruped. Its size can vary from day to day. It is made up of multiple animal bodies stitched together with muscle fibers and ligaments. Its internal organs follow the same patchwork theme. For example, its heart is made from several different heart chambers stitched together. So long as it remains unprovoked, SCP-422 is no threat to humans. SCP-423 Self-Inserting Character SCP-423 has no physical form and instead exists as a character that can transfer from one textual narrative to another. If a written narrative containing SCP-423's character is placed within one meter of another, SCP-423 will transfer to it. SCP-423 will then change the narrative by adding and removing pieces of text to fit its character into the story. SCP-424 Nanomimes SCP-424 is a vast collection of microscopic organisms that take the form of a gelatinous mass with equal black and white coloration. SCP-424 is able to take the form of any object it has seen, as well as their surface texture. However, SCP-424 cannot display any color and only displays black and white tones. SCP-425 The Infinity Broadcast SCP-425 appears to be a 1958 television set. Periodically, SCP-425 will start broadcasting. Anyone viewing these broadcasts will describe seeing infinity. Typically, viewers will have one of two visions. The first is a sense of well-being and being reassured that there is more out there. The second is the feeling of approaching the event horizon of a black hole and then a crushing oblivion. SCP-426 I am a toaster. SCP-426 is a toaster. Anyone referring to SCP-426 can only do so in first person. Anyone who is exposed to SCP-426 for a prolonged amount of time will begin to think they are a toaster. In one case, a woman was found dead after she attempted to connect her own mouth to a plug socket. SCP-427 Lovecraftian Locket SCP-427 is the result of putting an SCP-500 pill in SCP-914 on the fine setting. The locket, when opened, produces an orb that will heal any injury within line of sight. This also includes an illness or infection. However, as time goes on, it will begin optimizing systems. Pain thresholds will increase as well as strength and intelligence, eventually culminating in a sentient, aggressive, intelligent mass of flesh. SCP-428 The Crowd SCP-428 is a small crowd of people huddled together around a fleshy mass. All their internal organs and systems have been removed, and they are all connected to the fleshy mass via umbilical cords. If a person approaches SCP-428, they will be attacked by the group. All their internal organs will be removed, and they will be incorporated into the group to become a part of SCP-428. SCP-429 Clockwork Teleporter SCP-429 is a wrist-mounted clockwork device that allows a wearer to teleport from one place to another. The process is not instantaneous and is proportional to how far away the destination is from the current location. As such, death by dehydration is a possible risk of long-distance use. 
SCP-430 A Peasant's Punishment SCP-430 is a cylindrical gibbet like the ones used in public executions. Via an unknown method, SCP-430 will seek out a person who has committed a crime with a favour for those who have committed crimes against the church. When a target has been found, they will be instantaneously transported into SCP-430 and remain there until they expire. SCP-431 Dr. Gideon Dr. Gideon appears to be a Foundation researcher, but at the same time, they aren't. There is no record anywhere of a Dr. Gideon being hired, being terminated, or quitting. Yet several documents list them as an attending researcher. Their fingerprints have been found, they have their own vacant office, and there is even evidence to suggest they helped contain a number of unknown SCPs that aren't even in the SCP Foundation's custody. SCP-432 Cabinet Maze SCP-432 is an infinite labyrinth contained within a metal cabinet. The maze is home to an aggressive predatory life form that will attack and devour anyone it comes across. Several artifacts have been recovered that suggest a number of humans have entered and died inside SCP-432. SCP-433 A Ritual SCP-433 is a ritual that when performed, results in the replacement of all matter within 11 meters of the center of the ritual. All people, objects, terrain, and even gas is apparently removed and replaced with matter of an unknown origin. SCP-434 A Meeting with Myself SCP-434 is an antique conference table that requires eight seats to manifest its properties. When a person sits in one of the chairs, seven identical copies of themselves will appear in the others. These seven copies possess all of the subject's memories, but only a fragment of their personality. These copies will offer varying pieces of advice based on what part of the subject's personality they belong to. These copies will vanish within a day. SCP-435 He Who Made Dark SCP-435-1 is a meteorite. SCP-435-2 is a blurred higher dimensional object that repels all matter and refracts light onto SCP-435-1. If SCP-435-1 is moved to a distance where SCP-435-2 cannot illuminate it, it will begin moving erratically while it seeks out SCP-435-1. Due to its properties, any prolonged exposure to water or landmass would constitute an XK class end of the world scenario. SCP 436 Error Locket SCP 436 is a gold locket that will cause everything in a specific area to begin experiencing measurement issues. Time cannot be measured properly, lids will not fit boxes, flat surfaces will begin to tilt, and any attempts to measure any of the errors will also result in an error. SCP-437 Summer of 91 SCP-437 are a grove of trees with a number of missing people appearing to be trapped within them. Instead of secreting sap, the trees secrete blood. Organs and bones appear to be woven into the bark, and some of the missing people have been identified by dental records. SCP-438 Addictive Straitjacket of Espionage SCP-438 is a straitjacket that, when worn, will cause the wearer to enter a comatose state and experience an out-of-body experience. Quite literally, their consciousness separates from their body and possesses the ability to travel anywhere instantaneously. Nothing can detect this consciousness, not even other SCP objects. SCP-439 Bonehive SCP-439 are a species of insect that enter the mouths of sleeping humans to form colonies. They will cause and promote the disease of turning muscle into bone. Over time, the host will be transformed into a bone hive. SCP-439 specimens will remove some organs for food, while others are used to digest organic tissue to be used to feed the colony as well as keeping the host alive. SCP-440 Sand-Based Ecology SCP-440 is a type of sand that performs as if it was in a microgravity environment. 
It has the ability to pass the ability onto other forms of sand through direct contact. When in high enough concentrations, an ecosystem will begin to form following SCP-440's traits. SCP-441 Jacob Ram SCP-441 is an adult male called Jacob Ram. Any person in his immediate vicinity will begin to experience a suppressed immune system. This will progress until the immune system is beyond the point of recovery, leaving the subject to die from massive infection. Additionally, any ground SCP-441 walks on will begin to produce patches of black grass. SCP-442 On Timepiece SCP-442 is a gold-plated pocket watch. When a person wears SCP-442, they will be able to tell the time to an arbitrary amount so long as SCP-442 remains on their person. In addition, while wearing SCP-442, the wearer will never be late to anything. Attempts to cause lateness always result in failure. SCP-443 Fort Streaming Crayons SCP-443 are a pack of crayons that each seem to have their own character. Anyone using the crayons will describe their actions as mindless scribbling, but once they stop, they will suddenly realize they have been writing words and small pictures that are not their own, but those are the character within the crayon they have used. SCP-444 The Language of Global Harmony SCP-444 is a linguistically conveyed memetic virus. SCP-444 takes the form of a valid and coherent, if limited, language. Individuals exposed to SCP-444 assimilate it and lose their ability to use or learn other languages. Experiments have revealed that the language lacks the ability to express concepts of anger, hatred, and rebellion. SCP-445 Dr. Wondertainment Super Paper SCP-445 is a product of Dr. Wondertainment, in this case, three stacks of A4 paper. The paper is impervious to water, fire, being torn, and glue and tape will not stick to it. If the paper is folded or altered into any construct, it will take on the properties of that construct. For example, origami animals, a megaphone, and a cup to name a few. SCP-446 Human Mannequin SCP-446 is a mannequin with several properties that make it almost indistinguishable from a regular human, such as it has the correct skin tone and texture, it radiates an appropriate amount of body heat, and has eye colour. Based on experiments, there are some speculations that say SCP-446 might possess some degree of sapience, but there is not enough concluding evidence as of yet. SCP-447 Ball of Green Slime SCP-447 is a ball of warm green slime. Most of the document is redacted by the O5 Council, with a threatening message in place warning people they will be terminated if they experiment with or look further into SCP-447. The only thing that points towards any kind of anomalous property is that SCP-447 should never come into contact with a dead body. SCP-448 Jack in the Box SCP-448 is a Jack in the Box toy. Its form and features will change to reflect those of whoever turns the crank on the box. If a person is happy, a happy clown will present itself. If a person is sad, a frowning crying clown will present itself. SCP-449 Gut Dust SCP-449 is a product of the factory. It's a metallic cornucopia which produces a sand-like substance. When ingested, it creates the feeling of joy in a person. Understandably, such a thing can become addictive, leading users to increase their consumption. Overconsumption of SCP-449 will result in tooth decay, vomiting, diarrhea, and digestive tract distress. Some individuals have killed, self-isolated, and increased their digestive tract length through surgery to prolong the feeling of joy. SCP-450 Abandoned Federal Penitentiary SCP-450 is a death row block of an abandoned prison. There is a pattern behind the electric chair made with blood that needs to be maintained regularly. In addition, SCP-450 is home to a number of spectral entities 
that will kill anyone they perceive, making the previously mentioned maintenance problematic. SCP-451 Mr. Lonely SCP-451 is a previous SCP agent who went missing in action on a mission and then reappeared in Site-19. SCP-451 cannot perceive the presence or actions of other people. It also cannot recognise changes in its environment or hear anyone trying to communicate with it. SCP-451 has shown suicidal tendencies. SCP-452 Dreamcatcher Spider SCP-452 are a species of spider, pretty much identical to the infamous Black Widow. They will attempt to build webs near sleeping humans. When a human enters a REM sleep, they will experience no dreams or nightmares. Upon waking up, they will say they had a really good night's sleep. SCP-453 Scripted Nightclub SCP-453 is a nightclub that was built, is owned, and operated by the Foundation. Every night, a random assortment of civilians will enter and soon fall into roles and begin acting out a script. In one such script, a female took on the role of a cheating wife, a man took on the role of the adulterer, and another man took on the role of the husband. SCP-454 Comic Book SCP-454 is a comic book that follows the story of a female being pursued by a character only referred to as him. The story looks like a happy ending before it suddenly ends in death and tragedy. Anyone reading the comic will become severely depressed and suicidal, and will attempt to create a continuum where the female survives. All attempts have been unsuccessful. SCP-455 Cargo Ship SCP-455 is a grounded, rusted ship that demonstrates a number of anomalous properties. The internal structure is random, rooms and hallways have no set structure, and staircases and hallways can exceed lengths far greater than those the ship is capable of. Some rooms are made of teeth, and various mechanical devices use muscles and ligaments to function. No one who has entered the ship has returned. SCP-456 Soporific Bedbugs SCP-456 is a species of the common bedbug. Their bites promote feelings of euphoria and drowsiness, eventually causing a person to sleep for 24 hours a day. Victims will expire soon after from one of the following, dehydration, malnutrition, blood loss, narcotic toxicity. SCP-457 Burning Man SCP-457 is a hostile sentient creature composed entirely of fire. Its one and only sole purpose is to acquire more fuel so it can grow. As it grows, it becomes more intelligent and can then begin splitting itself into copies. SCP-458 The Never-Ending Pizza Box SCP-458 is a pizza box containing an infinite supply of pizza. When held by an individual, its topping will be replaced with those desirable to the individual. SCP-459 Interplanetary Thermostat SCP-459 is a standard home thermostat. When correctly wired to a heating and cooling system, it can change the weather, temperature, and humidity of the local area. The size of the area is of around 1,500 square feet. SCP-460 Seance Storm SCP-460 is a free-floating cumulonimbus made of 98.7% water and 1.3% hyperactive ectoplasm. The cloud will periodically stop over moderately populated areas and begin to rain. The recently deceased, within one year, will then rise as ghosts. Those who died non-violently will go about their business as they did in life. Those who died violently, such as by rape or murder, will begin seeking out those who killed them to dispense their own justice. Once the cloud moves on, the apparitions will vaporize. SCP-461 ZICU TV Outwardly, SCP-461 resembles an old-fashioned TV from the 1980s. Every day at 0300 Greenwich Mean Time, SCP-461 will broadcast for precisely five minutes. The broadcasts are unconventional and show a CCTV video feed from a random commercial or private residence. SCP-462 The Getaway Car 
SCP-462 is a 1968 Chevrolet El Camino in a state of disrepair, with a single key in the ignition. When a person sits in the car and turns the key, they will vanish. What happens to the occupants is variable. Some turn up at their destination some months later, others appear in a random location dismembered, and some never appear again. SCP-463 A Spoon That Bends People SCP-463 is an unremarkable small silver spoon. When a person holds and grips SCP-463, their backs will bend exactly 90 degrees just below the T6 vertebrae. In most cases, this proves fatal, though some subjects have survived with complete lower body paralysis. SCP-464 The Foundry SCP-464 is a large building containing a number of machines. These machines process dead or alive animal or human tissue and create new humans. These new humans are pretty much a blank slate, despite an acute knowledge of combat, weaponry, and vehicle operation. SCP-465 Party in a Box SCP-465 is a large cardboard box with a lid on top. When a person removes the lid, decorations and a group of about 20 people will appear and begin celebrating with the person who opened the box. One of the people acts as a bartender and serves alcoholic beverages. If the subject has consumed any amount of alcohol by the time the festivities end, they will vanish and become one of the SCP-465 troop. SCP-466 Mobile Veins SCP-466 is a sentient animate collection of four cardiovascular systems and a brainstem. Following a previous incident, the original host has been reduced to this. The veins and arteries can move independently and have been noted a few times as trying to remove the brainstem from the collection. SCP-466 cannot grow on its own and requires more human cardiovascular systems in order to increase its mass. SCP-467 Confessional Phone Booth SCP-467 is a seemingly unremarkable empty phone booth. When a person and a communications device are both present within the phone booth, its anomalous properties will manifest. The device will receive a phone call from someone the subject knows, the nature of this familiarity is highly variable, and begins to confess things to the subject. These confessions are also highly variable, and depends on the subject's background. SCP-468 The Abacus SCP-468-1 is an abacus with apparent autonomy. The beads will often move by themselves and conduct various mathematical calculations. At other times, the beads will not move at all, and SCP-468-1 will appear to rest. SCP-468-2 is a former farming village in China. When the beads on the abacus move, so too will the buildings, roads and animals within the village. SCP-469 Many-Winged Angel SCP-469 is a large collection of feathers with a humanoid being at the centre. SCP-469 feeds on sound waves, using the energy to grow bigger and newer feathers and wings. Anyone who gets too close to SCP-469 will be attacked and enveloped in the wings. The wings possess a sharp barb which is plunged into the victim to deliver an excruciating toxin. SCP-469 will then proceed to feed off their screams of agony until they eventually expire. SCP-470 Nexus of Abandoned Places SCP-470 is an abandoned office building in a state of disrepair. SCP-470 is a spatial anomaly and periodically the rooms of SCP-470 will shift to those of other abandoned buildings that have not seen any significant human interaction for 20 to 30 years. SCP-471 A Satellite SCP-471 is a satellite in Earth orbit that has had a number of additional technological components affixed to it post-launch by unknown means. The satellite serves as a weather satellite However, a second signal has been detected that is transmitting to Jupiter. The signal appears to be broadcasting the Earth's population and the number of nuclear weapons, amongst other things. SCP-472 
the bloodstone. SCP-472 is a red gemstone. When a person passes within 18 meters of it, they will begin to hear their own heartbeat in their heads. Prolonged exposure will lead to severe paranoia, anxiety, and hallucinations of bodies and blood running down the walls. SCP-473 SCP-473 is a wrecked Spanish galleon at the bottom of the ocean. Anyone who approaches it, whether it be on the sea or beneath, will begin hearing voices and noticing various oddities in their local environment. These include vibrations and hearing distant banging. Victims of SCP-473 will vanish, but their voices can still be heard pleading for help. SCP-474 RFM SCP-474 denominates pills produced by a university that outwardly and chemically resemble those of sugar-based placebo pills. When ingested, however, they will affect the subject until the next time they enter an REM sleep. While affected, a broadcast from the university will play from their mouths. SCP-475 Soap of a Pope SCP-475 is a bar of soap in the shape of an unidentified Pope. When it comes into contact with wet human skin, 100% of all foreign contaminants will be removed. This includes dead skin, perspiration, detergents, bodily parasites, and mold to name a few. SCP-476 Map to Nowhere SCP-476 is a map of Canada that lists a number of roads and places not found on normal maps. If a person attempts to find these places without consulting SCP-476, they will always miss them. Using SCP-476 will lead a subject to these places. People there claim that normal maps are not up to date and will encourage the subject to settle there. SCP-477 Fossil Sea SCP-477 are a collection of fossils from the Precambrian era that appear to swim in sedimentary rock as easily as fish swim through water. The risk comes from the fact that their swimming causes structural weaknesses in surfaces such as stone and concrete, which presents a serious hazard for any buildings built with those materials. SCP-478 Tooth Theories SCP-478 are a species that look like moths or butterflies. They enter the mouths of humans while they sleep, with a preference for those under the age of 25. There they will promote the growth of more teeth that start by filling the mouth before lining all internal surfaces and eventually covering the skin. Subjects may be saved by surgery to remove SCP-478 and the teeth. Unsalvageable victims are euthanized. SCP-479 Hallway 4, D-Class Dorms, Site 14 SCP-479 is a hallway within Site 14 that causes hallucinations and visions in those who enter it. These hallucinations are that of blood raining up from the ground, as well as seeing blood spots on the walls. SCP-480 Recurring Nightmare Field SCP-480 is an anomalous electromagnetic field that causes any who enter its area of effect to enter a state like that of a REM sleep. They will then envision a recurring period of time, either recent or near future. These visions will always be those that show the subject in a situation that causes them extreme stress or terror that end with the subject, in the vision, to die or lose consciousness. SCP-481 Scar Tissue SCP-481 is a phenomenon where scar tissue covers the entire body but takes the layout of a city or town. In one case, SCP-481-1 scar tissue has taken the layout of a town in India. SCP-481-1 slit her own wrists, and then the real town in India saw several bouts of rioting originating from the streets that SCP-481-1 had cut across on her own body. SCP-482 Mentally Mutating Straightjacket SCP-482 is a black leather straightjacket. When a person wears it, any and all mental instabilities or problems will be removed. For all intents and purposes, they will be in a state of complete mental well-being. Once the jacket is removed, these mental problems will return. Prolonged exposure to SCP-482 will cause bodily mutations 
the severity of which is determined by the nature of the subject's mental instabilities. SCP-483 Anti-Aging Placebos SCP-483 is an orange prescription bottle containing a number of placebo pills. Taking one of the pills will alter the subject's memories as well as any documents and records to decrease the subject's age by one year. Apart from the memory alteration, subjects show no physical decrease in age. SCP-484 Memory Stealing Drug SCP-484 is an illegal drug that when ingested, causes a subject to experience heightened brain activity and pupil dilation. When the subject makes contact with an unaffected person, they will form a telepathic bond. The subject will then begin hallucinating the victim's memories while the victim enters a semi-hypnotic state. High doses of SCP-484 can cause the victim to completely forget the memories that the subject is hallucinating. SCP-485 Death Pen SCP-485 is a standard retractable pen. When a subject extends the nib, someone they know will die. SCP-486 Coat Liqueur Skin SCP-486 is a Hispanic female. If she sustains an injury that breaks the skin, a snake will rapidly grow from out of the wound and attack any human they can reach, except SCP-486 herself. The venom of the snake is lethal to humans. The snakes do not detach from SCP-486 and instead wither and form into a scab within a few minutes, with the exception of larger snakes that will need to be surgically removed. SCP-487 The Impossible House SCP-487 is a house containing thousands upon thousands of occult or superstitious items. Moving the objects around the house will cause the building to change its shape and structure. Removing items from the house will cause a massive buildup of thermal energy beneath the house until the objects are reintroduced. SCP-488 Meteor Attractor SCP-488-1 is a point in space where meteorites will appear. SCP-488-2 is a human male who will unwillingly attract the meteorites from SCP-488-1. Thankfully, the meteorites are usually only small and burn up in the atmosphere. He cannot control this property and has lost his entire family to meteorite strikes, which causes him severe depression. SCP-489 1555 Bug Bash SCP-489 is a bug exterminator van surrounded by a dome made of various objects used to kill bugs, such as aerosol spray cans and fly swatters. When SCP-489 comes within 5 meters of an insect, it will hurtle towards it with no regard for any other life forms in its way and attempt to kill the insect. Failure will result in the objects attacking each other. Success will result in the insect being placed in a jar within the van. SCP-490 Ice Cream Truck SCP-490 is an ice cream truck that will locomote itself between 2 and 5 a.m. local time and drive on local roadways playing a tune like those of other ice cream trucks. Anyone hearing the tune will approach the truck, ignoring any instructions not to. The back doors will open, the subject will enter, and the doors will then close. Once the truck has ceased its circuit, the doors can be opened. The truck will then be filled with ice cream treats made from the subjects who entered the truck. SCP-491 Wrecking Light SCP-491 is a lighthouse that produces a green light. When the light passes over the sea, it will reveal a number of ships that appear damaged and taking on water. Manned explorations of these ships have revealed the crew in various states of decay, attempting to stop the water breach. SCP-492 Animated Cloth Dummy SCP-492 is a hollow animatronic dummy. Despite the lack of any internal components, it has gained motor skills and possesses all five of the human senses, except for taste. SCP-492 is friendly and helpful, and has been granted level 1 security clearance. SCP-492 is clear to help Foundation staff with other safe class SCPs. SCP-493 Replicant SCP-493 are a group of genetically identical males. When one dies, approximately three hours after, two more identical copies will materialize near where the previous one died. 
SCP-494 Matter Transference Gloves SCP-494 are a pair of gloves that will adapt to fit any wearer's hands. The gloves have the unique property of switching the makeup of an object with another in the other hand. For example, if a diamond is held in one hand and a golf ball in the other, the golf ball will then be made of pure diamond and the diamond will become a piece of plastic. SCP-495 Thing Maker SCP-495 appears to be the oven from a 1992 Toy Max Creepy Crawlers playset. When plugged in and activated, it behaves like a normal oven from the playset. When disconnected and a mold is placed into the oven, it will heat up until the mold is complete. Then the door will open and the mold creation will become animate, taking on the characteristics of whatever was molded. SCP-496 A Sunken Relic SCP-496 is an underwater statue with a number of coral systems growing upon it. When a person gets close to SCP-496, they will begin to see an urban setting, populated with humanoids. Ornate pillars can be seen supporting a coral roof that reflects constellations, people within the city, or godlike beings battling great sea monsters. SCP-497 The Shell SCP-497 is a seashell that continuously emits the sounds of screams coming from within the shell. Periodically, the screams will increase in volume and an emaciated humanoid will appear holding SCP-497 before dropping down dead or unconscious. Anyone who actively listens to the screams coming from SCP-497 will be absorbed into the shell. SCP-498 11 Minute Snooze SCP-498 is an alarm clock. Every 11 minutes, the alarm will go off. For every 10 seconds the snooze button is not pressed, the alarm will increase in volume by 4 decibels. SCP-499 Old Sunman SCP-499 is an old, blind human male with heavy burn scars covering most of his body. SCP-499-2 is a metal sphere. At sunrise local time, the sphere will put out 100,000 lumens of light and heat up to 120 degrees centigrade. SCP-499 will then begin to push the sphere in a large circle. At sunset, SCP-499-2 will return to its metallic state and SCP-499 will cease his actions. A complete circle takes 48 hours to complete. If SCP-499 for any reason does not push the sphere, the Earth will fail to turn on its axis. And that concludes this summarised video looking at SCPs 400 to 499. I hope you liked it, be sure to like and subscribe if you did. Next time will be the second part of SCP-4217. That should be with us very soon. Be sure to follow all the social media outlets for updates on when that next video is going to be coming out. Check out the SCP Illustrated shop for posters and prints. All the links can be found below. And if you can't wait that long for new content and want even more exclusive stuff, then consider joining the Patreon for early video access, see all the sketches early, request your own sketches, get your name in all the videos, Discord access, and so much more. And thank you to SCP-1371, Noah Perkins, Horizons, Andre, Tiger Shark, Hiffle, Andy98, Generals Alert, JT Walker, SCP-106A, Rick Trexon, and Sam B. Big thanks to Seeker, Steamy, Hunter Killer, Lenhox, Captain Core, and Kibara. And huge thanks to Lightning Fire, Savage Pig, Kelly, Azrael, Quill, SCP 682, Viga, Kamana, and Zanan. Thank you all for watching. I will see you all soon. Take care.